Howdy, yogis. Um, so today in this short tutorial, I am gonna show you how to do balance postures using the wall. Uh, two balance postures specifically, airplane and warrior three. So balancing on one leg, helping our hips get stable. Uh, the idea of doing this at the wall is it'll help you activate your back leg, which a lot of times gets lazy and kind of weighs us down. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. Grab two blocks and we'll get started. So to get started, obviously you're gonna need a wall for this. Um, and I know a lot of times I say like, oh, you can use a chair, you can use a whatever, your bed. Um, this you really do need a wall for. So find a wall space, or if you don't have a wall, close a door, use your door, uh, make sure you lock it. Nobody's gonna come in. I've made that mistake before. I'm just telling you guys, it's very abrupt when you're trying to like practice handstand or something against a door and then someone opens that door. Not fun feeling. So lock the door if you're using a door. Uh, and then take your two blocks. And then we're gonna start with uh, with just airplane and just see how it feels. So you'll want to have you can also just use one block, but I think two is better if you have two. Uh, you'll want to have your blocks in front of you. And the hardest part of this is judging how far, or how close you need to be to the wall. So you're probably gonna have to kind of play with it a little bit, but you want to feel a sensation. You can just step your foot kind of back and forth, and that's why it's nice to have two blocks because you can really like lift your leg without having to move your blocks around too much. Um, or change the entire way you're standing. But you wanna feel your back leg really connect to the wall. So I'm not so far away that it's like, oh yeah, like uh, the wall's kind of there. Uh, I sort of find it if I want to. And I'm not so close that my knee has to be bent, okay? So you want an active and engaged leg, like you're kind of standing in mountain pose, but against the wall, okay? And so practicing, not only engaging your foot against the wall to engage your hamstring, your quad, but also practicing leveling out your hips. So a lot of times when we do airplane or warrior three, we kind of tilt to one side, our toes kind of pivot. So one thing you can do with your foot on the wall is kind of peek underneath you and notice, like are my toes kind of tilting to the side? Do I need to kind of point my toes down so that the toes indicate where your hips are facing? So once we feel like we have our hips kind of squared in the right place, using the muscles in your belly, your chest, your back, think baby cobra, and maybe start to lift some weight out of your blocks, putting you know just your fingertips on there. Once you feel comfortable there, maybe lifting one arm, maybe lifting both arms. This will feel very different in your legs than you typically do. From airplane, you can do hands to heart center. You can play with warrior three, okay? When you're ready to come down, hands to the block, foot to the floor, shake it out for a second, do the other side. Now, you will notice after you practice this, you hold it at the wall, you're gonna feel much more engaged when you try those poses on your mat freestanding without any kind of support, okay? You can still use your blocks, but without the wall behind you. The reason for that is the wall there helps you activate your foot which is gonna ignite your leg. So a lot of times when we're practicing away from the wall, we just kind of let our leg hang out there. We get a little wobbly. We're just kind of using, you know, our leg that's on the floor as like a counterpoint and everything else is just kind of balancing. This forces you to use your muscles, okay? So instead of just relying on finding that place where you can kind of just balance and be lazy, this actually engages everything. So it's making your pose much more active. So that's what we're after, that's what we're going for, that's how we get stronger, that's how we get better. Give it a shot, let me know what you think, and I would love any requests for future videos. Thanks guys.